Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how you can enable the Services Virtual Machine on System Platform 6.2. Beginning with System Platform 6.2, the Secure Access Link Gateway is no longer co-resident with the CDOM Virtual Machine, but rather has been moved to a new and separate virtual machine. This new guest is referred to as the Services Virtual Machine, or SVM for short. Because of this change, the cell gateway no longer shares the same IP address as CDOM and now has its own unique IP address assigned to it. It is therefore highly recommended that you first assign this new IP address intended for your SVM to the CDOM virtual machine and then reassign the now relinquished CDOM IP address to your SVM upon enabling it. Doing this will ensure two things. First, it will prevent you from having to modify any firewall rules or router security in your network for this new IP address. Second, it will also prevent you from having to reconfigure the alarm destination of all of your system platform and solution template virtual machines to point to this new IP address. This is possible because everything in your environment will remain configured with the original CDOM IP address that your cell gateway once used, but which you have now assigned to your SVM. The two tables following will summarize this IP address reassignment. In this first table, you can see how we have one IP address for domain 0 and a second IP address of 192.168.10.101 shared by the console domain and the cell gateway. Now, if you look at the second table, again, you can see that our domain 0 IP address has not changed, but you can also see that the IP address that was intended for the SVM has been assigned to CDOM and the previous CDOM IP address of 192.168 that 10, that 101 has been reassigned to our SVM. Configuring your IP addresses in this fashion should allow your SVM to communicate with Avaya seamlessly after it has been enabled. Complete details and step-by-step -step instructions on how to change the CDOM IP address can be found on Avaya Support document title Upgrading Avaya Aura System Platform Release 6.2. Finally, please keep the following points in mind prior to enabling your services virtual machine. Enabling the SVM is only available on System Platform 6.2. Enabling the SVM will require that System Platform assign memory and CPU resources to the SVM. This assignment, however, happens automatically and does not interfere or take resources from your solution template virtual machines. Also, if you have elected not to reassign the CDOM IP address to your SVM, then please ensure that you first take the appropriate steps to allow network traffic from your new IP address back to Avaya, as well as reconfigure your system platform and solution template devices to point to this new IP address. And finally, before proceeding, please ensure that in addition to the IP address that you will be using for the SVM, that you also have the host name and network domain, which will form the fully qualified domain name of your SVM. Let's begin. We'll start by logging into System Platform with the admin account or any AST protected account such as Craft, INEDS, or init. For this how-to, I will be using the admin account. I'll go ahead and enter admin for my user ID, then press enter. I'll then enter my password and again press return to authenticate. And after a few brief moments, I will be at my System Platform landing page. Okay, let's move forward. On the left navigation pane, Click on Server Management to expand the list of submenu items. Now, from the submenu list, click on Network Configuration to access the System Platform and Virtual Machine Network Details page. From here, move to the bottom of the page by scrolling down or by pressing the Page Down key. As you can see here, we have a section titled Template Services VM. I will first click the checkbox next to the Enable Services VM label which will open up the fields for editing. Now here, you will need to enter the fully qualified domain name of the SVM and its IP address. As you can see here, it is already pre-populated from a previous run, so I'll leave them as is. I will now need to press the Save button to commit my changes. The system will prompt me to confirm this action and acknowledge a system message that I may need to log back into my web console. I'll do that by clicking OK. Now, this process takes approximately one minute to complete, but has been accelerated here for this tutorial. After the change is complete, you will see a message above showing settings updated successfully. 
Let's fully confirm this by navigating back to the System Platform Virtual Machine List. I'll do that now by clicking on the Home link. And as you can see here, we now have the SVM listed as one of our active guests. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.